Constitution, but uh, is there a uh, kind of a danger or inherent to this? Uh, it, it, it raises the specter of improper influence that without saying anything by virtue of his office, that other potential business affiliates or associates or, in this case, town selectmen might have their judgment chilled. They, they recognize this is the treasure of Maine. Do we make a decision based on the facts or do we need to calculate that into our evaluation of this proposal? You know, that's, that's what the Founding Fathers were trying to guard against, that as a fiduciary agent for the state of Maine, the treasurer would be immune from all that speculation. Okay. Treasurer Polquin may be concerned about what's legal or not. I'm also concerned about what's good for baseball. What is important to the people of Maine is to know that the treasurer cannot create undue influence, and that's what that provision's about. Any direct ties here or anything that you're kind of separating from the uh, substantial tax break on the Georgetown property, or is that something completely different here? Are you collecting everything together here? I, I've collected it. I have looked at the documentation from the uh, Woodlot issue. Um, whether or not that tax break is correct, others will decide. That's a tax question. That's a moot point as far as this is well, concerned it's, here. It's not necessarily moot. I think it's been put on sidebar okay. uh, because the question is, if in fact it's concluded that he can be afforded that tax break because he's engaged in legitimate commercial activity, then it adds evidence to my question. He may be correct as far as tax law is concerned, but his conduct could likely be deemed improper as far as the constitutional provision. So I'm not the Attorney General. His office needs to do some of this work. Some might have thought that this inquiry might have come from perhaps a representative of the uh, Legal and Veterans Affairs, Judiciary, or state and local government. Uh, what's prompting your, I guess, your, your activity in this area? Why, why did you want to take the, take the point on this? Well, I think probably because of my background uh, as an investigator. But moreover, I, I've done it before. It didn't gather this much media attention. When there was a lot of debate around voter fraud, I wanted facts. I wrote to the Secretary of State and said, look, by virtue of your office, I'll trust your judgment. I need objective data to inform my decision in the future as to whether or not your proposal makes any sense. And it took some time, but eventually his deputy got a hold of me and I started getting data. And to his credit, the data was not necessarily favorable to the political position of the majority party. Uh, so I thought it was a fair counting and that launched there. Uh, investigation to that. Serving on energy and utilities, much like in this case, there seemed to be a reasonable basis of evidence that there had been some mismanagement and efficiency main trust. And I second the motion with my Republican colleagues to call for an investigation. It was proper thing to do. So, but you've never had any prior interactions with the treasurer up until this point. I've taught. I've met him. Right. <laughs> no, no disagreements. I don't, I don't have a disagreement. Uh, with the office and its work, and that's all I'm trying to accomplish here, is to signal that he has to work within a certain boundaries. Will there be a third attempt to contact the AG here? If not, then what's plan B? I I'll continue to press my case. Okay. Uh, my constituents want an answer. I'll continue to press up until that time the Attorney General renders an opinion. Have you heard anything from them? Nothing. I actually check my mailbox there. I actually go there every day hoping there's an answer. And there was junk mail, but nothing else. The treasurer was on the radio this morning uh, responding somewhat and said that it doesn't pass a straight face test. To, he's right. To this say doesn't that, pass uh, a straight face test. <laughs> to, to, to argue that he's a self employed businessman on the side, he doesn't have time. Um, did you hear that comments? I, I didn't fun? hear. I didn't hear the comments. The the question is one: Is he engaged in actual business activity, and does he direct that activity? I, I heard in some other venue that he suggested, well, it all doesn't count because I didn't make any money. Well, the Constitution doesn't require that he make a profit. The Constitution forbids direct business activity. So he's right. It appears from the evidence it doesn't pass a straight face test.
Thank you.